Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you're joining me for the first time I want to say thank you and take thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this review And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber Welcome back though so you guys everyone's full-on into fall. I got my cute little fall decor behind me um, But I want to make this video because I know everyone's into fall fragrance, which understandable it's the best time of the year to burn fragrance so I love fall home fragrance but some of my favorite summer fragrances are kind of getting overlooked and I've been burning them I just switched over mainly my absolute one of my absolute favorites summer boardwalk from Bath and Body Works originally I believe a slap consent I think it was called boardwalk um, at the time but they changed it to summer boardwalk there are two um, summer boardwalk different uh, packages this year for summer 2018 from Bath and Body Works. There's this one with the cute little scenic summer boardwalk picture. And then they also have one, I believe it's just called Boardwalk. It's in that cute little Polaroid collection. And I feel like summer boardwalk doesn't get enough positive attention. Maybe it's because it's been out for a long time. It comes back year after year. I absolutely love it. It's not you know, end of summer slash summer without summer boardwalk. I always burn it in August, you know, mid August, all the way through into fall till I transition into like my yummy bakery apple gourmand scents. But you guys, I absolutely love this fragrance and I had to just do a quick video. I think I might have a video up of summer boardwalk possibly from last summer, I'm not sure. If you're interested, just check it out. I think I do though. But I know I posted this on Instagram and maybe some of you haven't used Summer Boardwalk or burned it or maybe even smelt it. So I figured I'd at least do a video because I haven't seen any videos up this summer on it. Probably because everybody's already made videos on it. But I figured I'd put my two cents in. So let me do a little review on this year's version of Summer Boardwalk. I'm going to read you the notes as well. So for those of you who don't know or aren't familiar, the notes are caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salty sweet cream. So I love caramel scents. I do love caramel. Sometimes too, too much caramel can be a little overbearing. There's other gourmand type fragrances I, um, I enjoy more. But the notes you get from this, it's just such a unique smelling candle. And, you know, I know some people when they smell this, they think, why would you want your home to smell like, like popcorn and butter and, and sweet cream? What it smells like while burning is... You know those caramel apple suckers? I don't know if you guys remember back in the day they had these green apple suckers dipped in caramel. And it has just this, you know, candied caramely apple -y scent. It smells like that kind of mixed with, like they said, salted sweet cream, kind of a salty note. Um, actually, the salty note really carries through quite a bit. You can kind of, if you have it going in your home as you're walking through, you almost just smell just this saltiness in the air in a good way, in a good way. Um, it just smells amazing, and it does smell like what you imagine a boardwalk would smell like with all the food and the apples and, and the popcorn and all that. It is one of the strongest probably the strongest candle next to probably paris cafe which is a espresso coffee scent that i've ever burned from bath and body works pumpkin pecan waffles is like a close second behind it but i feel like summer boardwalk is probably one of the strongest it's a house filler for sure you really only need one of these for an open concept and it's going to fill the entire house sometimes i'll even walk out of my house after having burned this and i can like smell it on my clothes and my hair it's that type of candle so if you're looking for a really really strong scent i know a lot of people burn this end of summer and even into the beginning of fall because it has apples in it it's just such a great scent um, I don't think I could do it 24-7 all year long, but it's a nice little switch up near the end of summer. It's beginning of August now, so I'll be burning this through the rest of August. I absolutely love it. I do wish that they would come out with wallflowers in this fragrance. They come out with wallflowers in a lot of other gourmand scents, or at least from time to time, all the pumpkin ones they come out with. I do wish that they would come out with boardwalk wallflowers. I don't know if they ever have in the past. You could probably combine it maybe with some sort of apple wallflower or even like a vanilla based one would probably blend well or that apple caramel might go nicely. So if you're looking for something to pair it with, 
but I wanted to get a video out just on this year's version and their performance. So as you can see, I got, I actually got two really good burns in on this candle and it just smells, I, I do love this one very much. On here, burn time is 25 to 45 hours. One thing I wanna mention you guys, I used to burn my Bath and Body Works candles just, I would light them in the morning, say I was off that day, and let them just go all day. Um, what I found was, and someone pointed this out to me a while back, really you should not let them burn more than four hours or so. What happens is they'll liquefy quite a bit, and I've noticed, especially in some of the gourmand scents, if you let it burn too, too long when you go to relight, you sometimes, even when you get to the halfway point, if not before, you start to get that kind of, I don't want to say burnt because it's not like a smoke burnt, but just that hot wax kind of burny smell and it, it changes the scent of it. So just kind of a precaution, um, something I've been meaning to mention. I think I may have said it in another video. Don't let it liquefy all the way. Um, it's dangerous. The glass could break, but it's also going to suck up a lot of your scent oils. So I've been really cautious about letting them only burn for four hours or so and then extinguishing them. This is one of those candles that after you put it out, even when you walk back in after it's been off for a while, you can smell it. Um, I absolutely love it. I can see why Bath & Body Works brings it back year after year. It is definitely a summer staple. So you guys, that's it for me today. I just wanted to do a quick video on Summer Boardwalk. If you guys have burned Summer Boardwalk, comment down below. I'm curious to see what your thoughts on this candle are. I know some people love it. I know some people hate it. So let me know in the comments below. Before I sign off, if you guys are on Instagram, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. You guys, I use my Instagram to post all kinds of upcoming videos, um, hauls, just candles that I'm test running and burning and all that. So if that sounds interesting to you, find me on Instagram and I will follow you guys back. So you guys, I know we're diving into fall, but it's still summer out here. So I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. And as always, I hope you are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.